Hello, 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 and happy Saturday to all of my wonderful, amazing Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Yes, you heard it right. Happy Saturday. Normally, this video would go up on tomorrow, but it is going up today in celebration of 8 8. Yes, get you prepared. We're going to be talking about the number 88 on today. So let's get into your reading and let's talk about this new moon and what you should do to prepare. All right, get you ready for that those cycles to get you to that full moon energy, okay? Let's go. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for our amazing Aries. As it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality and where they need to take action. I am talking to my Aries who know that they are strong leaders, have amazing self-confidence, positive energy, brave, creative, honest, passionate, optimistic, Yes, enthusiastic, confident, determined, courageous. Is that you, Aries? Of course it is. Yes, indeed. Talking to my Rams. Yes, that would be you. Your ruling planet is Mars. Even though it's not retrograde, we do have four other planets that's retrograde that affects everybody. Yes, again, we're celebrating new moon energy. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. You all are givers by default. I say this all the time. Divine masculine energy has nothing to do with man, woman, really. It has everything to do with really how you process things, right? You're very action-oriented, right? So to try to suppress how you truly feel about something, you're going to have to find very healthy outweighs, especially if the information that you're receiving is low vibrating or negative. You're going to have to find ways to be able to get it out out remember you're very action oriented so you have to get it out right yes let's do it let's do it uh-huh yeah some of you all are at a beautiful turning point where you're learning how to take back your you're taking back your power the reason i know that is because look at this some of you all have experienced a great deal of heartbreak. But see, instead of you being heartbroken, you are on the mend, right? You are now getting to the heart of the matter. There's a difference between heartbreak and the heart of the matter. You taking this long journey towards healing. Yes, healing your heartbreak, right? I see a breakthrough for a lot of you all. We have the Ace of Swords here. We also have the Page of Swords. Let me move, make some room for these cards so we can really get down to the nitte gritte. All right, we also have the Ten of Swords. Uh huh. We have the Page of Wands because this is the outcome for you all. And we also have the Five of Swords, right? So, Swords energy, when you think about Swords, I want you to think about air, cutting off the air supply of things that have hurt you, people, places, and things that have hurt you that have triggered like deep, deep, deep hurt and pain. Some of you all have been so betrayed and so let down in your lives that it literally felt like you were experiencing a death. But guess what? Death, rebirth are one and the same, right? Matter of fact, Pluto is retrograde right, long, right now along with Saturn, Jupiter, and Neptune. So in short, Pluto is telling us, hey, death, rebirth means it's time for you to continue decluttering, right? So instead of you giving so much time and energy to the people who have hurt you, now is where you take this sword and cut it off completely cut it off. We're not giving any more time and attention and energy to people who have hurt us, who have wronged us, who have done anything to try to destroy us. That demonic energy that tried to still kill and destroy us and just leave us just bankrupt, right? There is no money in overgiving to a person who has hurt you. That is energy, right? Get rid of that energy with the quickness so that the universe can replace it with something greater. It doesn't always work like this, right? It doesn't always work like, okay, that person hurt me, so they're gonna hurt in the same way, and I wanna sit around and wait for their karma. No, their karma started the moment they tried to hurt you by word, thought, or deed. The moment they put that energy out into the universe, again, by word, thought, or deed, it was coming back to them. It comes right back around full circle. You don't even have to wait around to see it happen, okay, Aries? This is how you take your power back. You cut them off and you keep on going. Sword energy is attached to the air element. You completely remove the air supply and you keep moving forward. There's people on your job. There's people in your family. That's your old friends. That's your ex-lover. Doesn't matter who it is, right? All of them. Put them all in the same barrel. Put all the crabs in the same barrel, right? Yep. Yeah. 
completely turn off, cut off that air supply, right? Because there's a fire sign. This is what I want you all to understand. So the new moon energy is really encouraging you, in particular Aries, to burn that old self, that cleansing fire, right? And so collectively burning old world beliefs and expectations like a wildfire so that you can make, make space for new, fresh things to come, new, fresh energy to come into your life. You're a fire sign, right? So if you're giving air to this, even if it's just simmering, just think of like putting a pot on a stove and it's just like whether you have an electric burner or whether you have a gas burner, right? And just see that simmering there. You're still giving it life. But when you turn it off completely, because fire needs air to grow, it needs oxygen to grow. When you give it no more life whatsoever, it opens up a new space so that the universe can replace it. A lot of times the universe is trying to replace it with more fire, more money, a better uh, uh, tribe, uh, um, soul tribe, a better whatever it is. It's trying to replace it with something greater. So that's what I want you all to start focusing on. Don't keep over giving, because remember, over giving leaves you out of balance. You don't leave much room for nurturing. Matter of fact, for my givers, I need you all to be in receiving mode, but it's what you receive, right? It's what you receive. Receive from the elements outside, right? Receive from the air outside. Receive from the sun, fire. Receive from water. Receive from trees, land, you know, the earth. Receive from all four elements, earth, wind, fire, air. Receive from all of those. And this is how you have your childlike exuberance. This is how you take your power back, Aries. You don't over give to low vibration energy, okay? That part of yourself is gone. That part of yourself you have burned. You're not giving any more life to it. You have completely sucked the air out of that part of yourself. You're like, no, I'm giving, I'm channeling my energy, my air. Some of you all have Aries, I mean, some of you all have um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini in your chart, that air. Go into that room. Go into that room in your spiritual house and say, okay, I'm going to choose what I give oxygen to. I'm going to choose what I give air to. Because guess what? Nothing can survive without oxygen. Nothing. Nothing can survive without air. Nothing. Imagine your enemy, your enemies. I'm not giving any more attention to that. I'm completely severing ties with that today. I'm removing their number from my phone. I'm blocking them via email. I'm blocking them on my phone. They have no more access to me whatsoever. Anybody that's attached to them that's on the fence, I'm cutting them off too. You see what I'm saying? Yes, you're not giving any more air to it. You're only focusing on the things that are higher vibrational that are in your that's on your frequency. Let's look at the number 88. Number 88 means that you're able to manifest anything. That's not some things, that's not this one over here, this one anything anything includes everything right number 88s are also designed to determine the outcome of your future by using an intense force of your creative imagination it's also able to successfully own every facet of your life to the nth degree by directing natural spiritual laws right yes 88 is extremely powerful so this time coming up august the 8th is extremely powerful so if you've been seeing 88s get to manifesting <laughs> i'm serious not only that new moon energy when you look up in the sky it's going to look like a slither of a moon that's quiet time that's the time where you be you sit down planting seeds okay now that i've completely removed the air supply of people who have tried to betray me and left me for dead on some cards this person is lying down with 10 swords stabbed in them right left for dead these are people that you allowed to get this close to you yes Yes, family members, friends, exes, people that you've allowed to get close to you. Some of you all have absolutely been in hostile relationships. Some of them have become volatile. Some of them were on the brink of becoming volatile. Some of them, you knew when you first met them, okay, this person goes from zero to a thousand. I can go from zero to a thousand and there could be some bloodshed, right? I mean, if, if, if I pop off and they pop off, it's going to be something, right? You know, it's going to be a problem. So to avoid all of that, you start listening to your higher self. How can you listen to your higher self and not be at war with your higher self and your lowest self? Your higher self being the God in you, your lowest self being your flesh. How can I not be in competition with, like, how can I say, well, you know what? My higher self told me X, Y, and Z, but I just had to just, just get it. I had to get some proof myself. Mm -mm. That's the old you. That's the, per that's the one that's been burned. That's the one you burned to a crisp. No, no, no. That's the old you. The old you is listening simply to your carnal self. That's your 
low self. That's your flesh. Remember, we are divine human. We are divine spirits that are having human experiences, right? You got to remember that we are divine spirits that are having a human experience. I need you all to tap into your strength, like really dig deep and tap into that lion in you. Some of you all do have. Uh, uh, Leo in your chart. Some of you all also have Libra in your chart. I'm looking at justice in your favor, right? So justice in your favor doesn't necessarily mean that a person is going to court for something. If you are, congratulations. But if you're not going to court, it just means balance out your energy. Start to using this sword to cut out things that doesn't serve your highest purpose. I'm serious because that's the old you. The old you would have gone from zero to a thousand. The new you would say, you know what? We're not on the same frequency. You're not going to take me there. You're not going to get me to lose my cool with you. I'm just going to cut you off. I'm going to completely sever all ties with you. That way I never have to go there. I can continue remaining my high vibrational self, right? I can still live my luxurious life. Yes, my extravagant life. Because I already know if I cut you out and you the big fish, I'm cutting you out. The universe is going to send me something even bigger. Maybe in the form of money, maybe in the form of feeling like I had more time at it. Have you all ever just gotten up and just said, you know what, I haven't felt this good in a long time. I feel refreshed. I feel renewed. I feel like I can run a couple of miles. I feel like I can walk a couple of miles. I just feel like I just want to go outside and just raise my arms to the sky in thanks, just in gratitude. Just like this person is throwing up a baton, right? Yes. So you never know how the universe is going to replace that energy that that energy that you have severed ties with remember you all are action oriented so to try to suppress low vibration energy when a person is giving you low vibration energy and you're receiving mode of it and you try to repress that it will cause you to snap it'll cause you to go off areas but that is not that's the old you that's what i'm talking about burning your old cells this right here you have moved on you moved on from those relationships that didn't serve your highest purpose. You moved on from that ex who was not reciprocating what you needed from them. You were giving, 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 constantly giving to them, and they were not willing to reciprocate it. You were giving to your colleagues. You were open book. You were sharing information with them. They weren't willing to reciprocate. They could barely even say hello to you without looking at you sideways and je with jealousy and envy. That green monster was just rearing its ugly head every single time. They're like, mm, look at the Aries over there doing all of that stuff. They just doing too much. <laughs> Maybe if you started doing something, Mr. or Miss Lazy, then maybe you could accomplish what I did, right? So, of course, so you have gained a lot of wisdom and knowledge along your journey. Some of your co your co your uh, family members are looking at you like, mm, I mean, do they really need all of that? Yes. Yes, yes, the house, the cars, the houses, the properties, and we don't add an S to it, the cars, yes, the, the, the extravagant lifestyle, yes, 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 yes. Why? Because I've worked on myself. I've burned that part of myself. I've burned that part of myself out when I was overgiving. Because when you were overgiving to them, Guess what? They still had a problem with you. Their mouth said that they didn't, but their spirit did. How in the world can Aries always just pull a rabbit out of a hat? But now you're pulling the rabbit out of the hat for yourselves. Remember, if you've been if you've been with me for quite some time, Aries, I told y'all last year, I said, Aries, too much money is passing through y'all fingers. Too much money is passing through y'all. Y'all keep giving stuff away to people. Stop doing that. Stop giving so much stuff away. Because some of the people, a lot of the people that you all were just giving your time, your energy, and your money to did not even appreciate it. They didn't. They like, ah, ha, 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 while slapping a big um, sucker stamp on your back, right? Yes, suckers, <laughs> right, but not anymore. They played themselves. So, yes, you gained a lot of wisdom and knowledge. So this right here is not baggage, not at all. And I, I, I want to say this too, Aries, for you before we close out your reading. You all did not waste time. You had to learn these lessons because some of y'all were being way too nice to people. And so you were either being too nice to them or you were going from zero to a thousand. Where was the in-between? Where was the balance in that? There was no balance, right? So you have also the Wheel of Fortune spinning in your favor, which is attached to Jupiter, which is retrograde right now. Any projects that you put by the wayside that you sat down for a minute and put on pause, pick that thing right back up because the Wheel of Fortune is spinning in your favor. Everything about to come full circle for you, Eric. I need y'all to start stomping and cheering and get excited and somebody do a backflip. I mean, you know, no, not if you can, you can't do a backflip. I mean, I don't want nobody talking about Queen told me to do a black backflip and now I'm laid up in the emergency room. Mm -mm, no, I didn't. <laughs> 
No, I did not. Listen, I need y'all to get excited. I mean, really in your spirit, do a backflip. Get excited. This right here, this world card is attached to the planet Saturn, which is also retrograde, telling you, hey, sit down and write out that 12-month plan, right? This is about long-term goals, your ambition. What are you ambitious about? What projects did you project, singular, or projects, plural, did you sit down temporarily because you were dealing with the healing process of people breaking your heart? Your family members breaking your heart, your friends, your exes, all of those people breaking your heart. What did you sit down temporarily while you were nurturing yourself? What? Whatever that thing was or things were, you want to pick it back up because it's about to blow up. When I tell you blow up, I'm talking about exceedingly and abundantly doing well. See, when people had access to you and they could have treated you right and they didn't treat you right, their loss, your gain. Your gain on the other side of that, right? So here we have, yes. And then we have the Hierophant card, which is attached to Taurus. Some of you all may have Taurus in your chart. Your thoughts are a whole lot more organized. Your money's about to get a whole lot better. The whole shebang. Y'all starting to see how this thing works? You starting to see how it works, especially if you've been with me for a while. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. Yes, we're very welcoming here. So yes, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the new you, Aries. Listen, you don't need to reintroduce yourself to people who didn't support you in the past. Let them sit over there and watch it. Let them sit over there. And you know how you... <laughs> Aries, y'all ever see somebody squint their eyes because they really can't see? I mean, like, that's how far away they are. I mean, we're not talking about people that are sight impaired. We're talking about people who have 20-20 vision or 20-30 vision. They can see just fine. But they're so far away from you that they need to squint to see we talking about those people. That's exactly what they're going to be doing. Swing. Is that Aries over there winning? Are they? Wait a minute. Hold on. Is that a yacht that they're on? Yes, boo, but it's my yacht, right? You see this name? Um, you see this name on the side of this yacht? <laughs> Aries. <laughs> Miss Ram. <laughs> Mr. Ram, right? Exactly, Aries. Let them be sitting over there squinting. No, nah, blue. That's not the sun in your eyes. You just can't get. You can't get close to me anymore. Mm -hmm. You don't have. You don't have my number. Oh, you've been dialing that number that you had. No, that don't work. Works for everybody else, but it doesn't work for them. Yes, exactly. Flowing like water. When I tell you, Aries, this is why I need y'all to stay. I need you to just balance that thing out. Water represents our creativity and our emotions, right? What does the moon govern? It governs our mood, emotions, subconscious habits, and feelings, right? Yes. Get into a space where you are near a body of water. I keep trying to say, listen, listen. The sun is going to provide you your fire. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That water is going to help calm your emotions, right? Balance that thing out. Get you cool, calm, and collected so you get... Inhale, exhale real good. I'm telling you, there going to be some people that's going to be squinting. That's how far away from them. That's how far away from you that they're going to be. They're going to need to squint to see. Is that Aries over there? I think that's Aries. I'm not sure. Let me see if that number that I have for them works. That's what they're going to get. Your assistant. <laughs> Whatever voicemail you put on there to block their number. Because y'all know y'all got at their apps out here that will tell a person that your number's been disconnected, but it's not really disconnected, right? Uh-huh. Get into it. Get into it. This is what I have for you, Aries. Again, I wanted to put this video up for you early. Next Sunday, the video will be up on Sunday, but this time I wanted to put it up on eight before 8-8. Eight, eight. So today is Saturday. Happy Saturday. Hopefully you all are having a fantastic day, but then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set. You know this is a general reading, so take what resonates with you. And by the way, the classes that we that I started teaching last Sunday are doing extremely, extremely, extremely well. There's some very talented people in the class, just to give everybody an update, some very talented people in the class who always knew that they have the gift to uh, learning how to read tarot cards, and they're really, really getting really sharpened right now. So y'all better be on the lookout. There are going to be some new tarot card readers on YouTube that's going to be doing their thing. So that's what I have for you, Aries. Have a fantastic day. Bye.